Pages is your word processing app on your iPad. You can view or edit Microsoft Word or Pages documents. You can also share your document in several formats, Pages, PDF, Word, or EPUB. To get started, choose Create Document. You can choose from one of the templates or choose a blank document. If you choose the blank document, your keyboard will automatically pop up and you can start typing your text. If a word you typed is underlined in red, there may be a spelling error. Tap on the word to see replacement options. Double tap on a word to select it and see other options like cut, copy, delete, or replace. Replace will show you other words that have a similar spelling in case you or Spellcheck made a mistake. You can also check to see that you're using the correct word by tapping on define. Still not sure of the meaning? Tap on search web. You can then see more examples and check images to see if it is the correct word you want to use. Use your blue dots to choose more words or whole sentences. You can also add highlights or add comments. Tap comment, write your comment, and then tap anywhere out of the comment box to exit. You will now see the items are automatically highlighted and a comment icon is on the left side of the sentence. Tap on the icon to review or delete it. On the top of your keyboard, you will see your tab button. You can also change your font style, increase or decrease your font size, choose bold, italic, or underscore. As well, you can choose the alignment and add a comment, page break, column break, or footnote. You can also find these options when you tap on the paintbrush icon on the top right side of your screen. Here you can also add lists or Go to Layout to add columns and change the line spacing. If you tap the plus icon, you can add tables, charts, text boxes, shapes, pictures, or videos. If you can't see your photo roll and get this message, you need to give Pages permission to access your photos and videos. Go to Settings, tap Privacy, then Photos, and set the Pages switch on. You can now add pictures and videos to your document. Use the blue dots to adjust each item's size. Tap and hold to move it to a new location on the page. To edit the style or format of any item, simply tap it and then tap the paintbrush. To add data to a chart, tap the chart once, then tap Edit Data. A spreadsheet will then pop up where you can enter your own information. In the Tools tab, you can find words or sentences in your document. It will also give you the option to replace them with a different word. Back in Tools, you can also turn on the Track Changes option. This allows you to see all the changes from this point on. You can then accept or reject the changes. This is a great tool to use if you're collaborating on the document or doing peer editing. You can also adjust your document setup by changing your paper size, margin sizes, and header or footer notes. In settings, you can also see other options that you can turn on or off. When writing essays, it's a good idea to turn on the word count. As well, if you are collaborating through iCloud on a document, you will want to add your name to author name, so you and your partner can track your changes. Not sure how to do something in Pages? You can go to Tools and tap Help. Here you can scroll through the topics for answers to your questions or use the search engine at the top. There is also the question mark icon on the top right hand side of your screen.
Now that you know the basic features of Pages, it's time to start creating.